Hey, it's Hi. to see you. I Thanks feel like us. Jared Leto is here in spirit. He's always in spirit. Yes. He's always on our minds. Is he always on set with you in some way? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Let's let's go a little further. Like, so you, <laughs> so so this doesn't sound random. Um, on your Instagram, you had a conversation with your mom yeah. about Jared Leto. Yeah. So who has the crush? Is it your Definitely mom? Definitely Judy. Okay. Do you call your mom Judy? Yeah. I call my mom Eve. Really? Isn't that awesome? People think it's really weird when I say Eve and they go, who are you talking to? I'm like, my mom. Hey, what Doc. do you call your mom? I, I call, call her mom Kellyanne. You call her Kellyanne. I call her mother. I call my, my dad Papa. Do you say mom? I do. Because you, you're Canadian? Do you say mom instead of I, mom? Uh, I might, maybe I do. Mom. Um, yeah, mom or mother. Not to make you feel more awkward. Did he, does the awkward thing get old with you guys? Never. Never. After four Never. years, it's just like the first time is every time. Awkward first kiss or first date? Oh, I had a really awkward first date. I went to a re-release of Raging Bull. <laughs> and Romantic. Speaking of first kisses, the guy tried to kiss me during the movie, which A, is not oh. cute anyway. B, during Raging Bull, <laughs> no dice. I had an awkward first kiss. I, I was like in fourth grade, maybe. And uh, me and a buddy, oh, wow. we took these two ladies. <laughs> To uh, this like rager. park, this You're park, just a big rager. and uh, there was a willow tree, and we were under the willow tree, and I was like, I was so nervous, and I was like, um, can I kiss you? And she's like, I was like, she's like, yeah. I'm like, uh, you asked permission. I did. Um, on the lips or on the cheek? And she's like, your your choice. <laughs> and I kissed her on the cheek. Of course. Uh, you did. I wished out. I did. Yeah. Why? If I could go back in time. Yeah, yeah. Where is she now? Your whole world might have been different now. I don't know. I, that's pretty, for her, I'd, but I feel like if I was a fourth grader, I mean, was she fourth grade or like sixth grade? She's a senior. <laughs> <laughs> she was a senior yeah. in high school. <laughs> I had quite the moves back then. I bet you did. Oh. Do either of you have any great senior year stories from high school? I have a funny story. Uh, I played on the basketball team. I was I was a bench player. I wasn't a very good basketball <laughs> player. And uh, but my friend said he was going to streak the basketball game. So we told everyone, and everyone goes to the game. Um, and it was like you know second quarter, and sure enough, he comes running out, fully naked with a paintball mask on. He runs onto the floor, and he pants a guy, and he's like everyone's laughing, and he's running around, and he goes to exit the gym out of the the far doors. And, but I told some of my friends to, to hold the doors from the other side. So he goes running through, he goes to get out, he's like waving and he can't get out. He runs to the other side, he can't get out. There's teachers uh, chasing him. He's like dodging them. Oh my, God. Oh my gosh, it was, it was so funny. Friends with benefits is a theme this season. Of awkward, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, do you think friends with benefits works? Can it work? Well, for at least for me, it's hard for me to even want to have benefits with someone that I don't like, you know? No. So that's probably no, what it saying. is, is that why would you want to be hooking up with someone that you don't like like that? Because if they're truly friends, eh, don't want to go there yeah. usually, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very similar for guys too. I think guys like to put on that like, you know, macho, you know, front, but they're all softies, I think, deep, deep down. And once you start spending time with, you know, a lady and yeah. physical attraction, that, uh, that forms into something more than that. I think you're the only per guy on the planet that actually really would say that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can totally have friends with benefits, you know, uh, no. So, um, so you and Brett had done, like you did um, like a reenactment of sort of season one, two, and three for people who maybe hadn't watched the show before to sort of set them up for season four. Is that <laughs> what you had done? Uh, kind of, yes. It was okay. more of a perfunctory, just, yeah, sing along. Yeah. That's what we did. We have a guitar here. Do you have a guitar here? We do, a slightly out of tune guitar. And we would love it if you would maybe give us a tease for what might happen in season four <laughs> of Awkward. Let's do it. Should we? Let's do it. You wanna gonna... play the drums? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you guys have so many isms on the show yeah. and Taylor Swifting is gonna be season, a season four thing. What yeah. actually is that? You know what that is. I do, okay. yeah. Um, Taylor Swifting is when you are burned and spurned and you write a song about it. There you go. Oh, I have yeah. person. Yeah. And it goes like. Jen Jenna cheated on Maddie last season. <laughs> Never gave a reason except that she's awful. Mm -hmm. Sadie was right all along. This is a really bad song. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'd buy it. <laughs> okay. That was fantastic! Yeah. Woo!